one over here another video hey man it's a lot of the team usa that's been going on man I, you know y'all know how to drop a video on this feel me team usa has become impossible i'm not gonna lie it's looking pretty good bro it's looking pretty good bro i ain't gonna lie it's damn near matching up with jordan in them you feel me I, i'm gonna just put it out there bro you got curry Bron, kd and b Kawhi. oh my ad they they not really fucking with Jordan and them, but you know it, it, they up there. You feel me? But before we get to the video, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all like and comment. And I'm I'm ready to jump straight into this one. I ain't gonna lie. Most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals, and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States. <laughs> this is Noah Lyles. An Olympic sprinter for Damn. Team USA and the man responsible for setting the NBA world on fire. Multiple players around the league did not agree with his statement and began flaming him in the comments. You got but deep book to too? Right. Ooh! Well, sorta. September 9th, 2023. Team USA would enter the semifinals against Germany in the FIBA World Cup. I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that USA was who? I'm sorry, bro. You feel me? That's my that's my squad and all. But that 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 shit was out, bro. I'm, I'm just keep it a buck with you. Never again. A win would set them up to potentially bring back a gold medal, proving that Team USA, even without the biggest stars, is no force to be messed with. Unfortunately, that was you got not a rising star. Bro, y'all let. Bro, y'all let these niggas win, bro. Like, be like, like let's be real, bro. Who, who is this? Y'all let Canada. A Germany team led by Dennis Schroeder executed. Not Canada. Y'all let a German. Yo. This inexperienced Yo. USA team. But despite Dennis, the goal being out of reach, all hope was. Y'all let a lost. German team whoop y'all. At least not yet. A win against Canada would have given Team USA the bronze medal, but even third place. Oh, was that is not Canada. Okay, I was about to say. They have won the third place game. Brooks? Oh, he was he was talking his. I know he was. The United States. That's the crazy. The, Americas. the level of play from Shea Gilgis Alexander and Dylan Brooks proved to be too much for Team USA to handle. Oh my God. Shea. Oh, for three. Two separate countries gave the United States a left. Yo, Shay Shay is different, bro. <sighs> Not as crazy. Two Not as crazy. Gave the United States a level and style of basketball that they were clearly just not ready for. And after bringing home nothing but disappointment, Team USA had done nothing but play into the Damn. words of Noah Lyles, a team that has a history of assembling elite caliber players and running through the competition. Not think about they not messing with that team. Dominance. And it left the NBA. World they not miss with that USA team. I'm sorry. On top, how can we restore Team USA dominance? The answer, LeBron James. Time this summer, yeah. USA basketball <laughs> lost to Canada, and all of a sudden, yeah. within a day, we're hearing that LeBron James, aka Nick Fury, yeah. is calling up all the superhero <laughs> friends to bring the team together. How much truth was there to that? We know that you do. You told us you have interest in playing for that team. Yeah. No, I do have a lot of interest in, in playing in Paris. Um, obviously, um, you know it's a lot to be to be had, you know, here with the Lakers, obviously in this season. But um, got a lot of interest on, on playing in Paris with, with Team USA. I have a history of playing with Team USA. Obviously, everyone knows that, and uh, and we have a lot of great players. I'm not gonna. I'm glad Brown did that, bro. It's it's a good way to end his career. Why not play on Team USA one more good time, bro? It's a good way to end his career, and then he's on, on the Lakers with his son. I, he going out with a bang, y'all. He has had an amazing career, but he's going out with a bang. I I, I respect it. here in America. So Have you talked to some of those guys? Uh, we've been in communication. <laughs> the greatest shooter of all time. He got Curry on that team for sure. Scorers of all time, a top two player of all time, elite defenders, supreme young talent. Anything you could think of, it's there. Team USA has a sem. Oh, I forgot. J J T on the team, bro. You got Kawhi. Jason Tatum, KD, LeBron, Embiid, Curry, and Nah, nah. He he for sure he for sure didn't assemble the Avengers, bro. Damn. Impossible. 
a total if they lose, I'm be disappointed. Level that's off the charts and unquestionable NBA greatness. 84 total All Star appearances, eight NBA MVP trophies, and 16 NBA championship Damn. rings. This team also has 11 Olympic appearances and 10 gold medals. A group of guys with experience in both the NBA world and the Olympic world. A team constructed to counter every weakness that cost them the losses in the FIBA World Cup. Against Germany, it was a size factor. They lost this really for one reason. And it a size factor now? The, the only big man they got? Oh, B. They got Bam, AD, and MB. And... That's that's solid. That's solid. They just didn't have enough size. Insert Joel Embiid and Anthony Davis. That's solid. Against Canada, it was a defensive issue. For Team USA, they just didn't have the defense. Insert all NBA defenders Drew Holiday, Bam Adebayo, and Anthony Davis, alongside that's solid, solid perimeter defenders in Jason Tatum and Anthony Edwards. That's solid. And a clear issue with Team USA's C team was exactly that. They were a C team. They didn't have a true, fully developed superstar to rely on. Sure, they had... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This team was just having fun. They they just picked any and everybody, and they had fun. I still respect it, though. Dylan Brunson and Anthony Edwards. But with all due respect, those guys are not Steph Curry, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant. They are all great players, but there's levels to this. In the Olympics, Kevin Durant is the all-time leader in total points, scoring average, Damn. field goals made, three-pointers made, and free throws. He's a superstar caliber player Damn. that can be relied on to score at will. His stats tell the entire story. On the offensive end, he leads in pretty much every major category. And a few steps behind him, LeBron James ranks third all-time in total points. Now imagine two of the top three all-time scorers on Team USA playing alongside the greatest shooter of all time. The Paris Olympics will be Steph Curry's Olympic debut, but I have no doubt that his skills will translate over. Have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry. You know what's a little crazy? I heard and I seen that the three-point line is a lot shorter. When they about to play this Olympic shit, it's a lot shorter. That's that's bad. That's bad. Curry's about to, that's a mid-range for Curry, bro. That real life. That's crazy. Good luck, bro. These three guys have reigned over the NBA for years, and the crazy thing is, this is just the head of the snake. This team was built with depth in mind. With the personnel that this team has, the lineup capabilities are endless. Spacing the floor has proven to it's be gonna be bad. Effective. You have JT and Kawhi. I I'm still thinking about Kawhi, only because he's an elite defender who is getting past JT and, and Kawhi. You get past them, you got to deal with them B, A, D, and Bam. M meanwhile, LeBron in the backcourt, he, he chasing it down. You feel me? Like it, that's dangerous. That's da I have high hopes with this team, bro. If y'all if y'all lose, I will be making a reaction video, and I'm, I'm going crazy. Is that being said, bro? I I'm sorry, and I'm pretty sure one of y'all gonna see this. I'm I'm going crazy. Like I said, I got high hopes. Y'all better come home with a with a motherfucking diamond diamond medal. Skip the gold medal. Y'all y'all better go undefeated with this team. Y'all have literally top the top twelve players in the league. I'm bro. Everybody on everybody on this team is a superstar. Literally, literally. In the Celtics finals run, superstar and team USA has all the tools to run a five out offense. A lineup of Steph Curry, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, and Joel. Oh, hey. look at that lineup. Look at that lineup. That's crazy. That's crazy. And you got what? D-Book to replace JT. Kawhi to replace KD. AD Bam. And what? Who who they point guard, bro? How do we, yeah, that's bad. Combined for an average three point percentage of thirty nine point nine percent, essentially an entire lineup that shoots forty percent from beyond the arc on average. So they've got floor spacing, but can they get stops? Well, with Anthony Davis and Bam Adebayo for sure. locking down the interior, Butler, got they can get stops for sure. You got Bam. 
and Drew Holiday, Anthony Edwards. Drew Holiday. That's they. Oh my, yeah. That bat. Hey. Either either way it go. Hey, oh, and, and, oh my, Jason bro. Tatum containing the perimeter. Yo, I'm getting excited. I ain't. Th this team is elite. Okay. I, I'm not gonna lie. They they probably could match up with with Jordan, bro. Jordan, they they probably could. I'm I'm not even gonna lie to you. The defense looks pretty solid to me. And the most valuable asset to this specific defensive the dream team is the switchability. Batman Part two. can guard one through five, alongside Tatum being capable of guarding one through four, and possibly five depending on the center's play style. As far as Drew and Ant go, I think they can easily guard one through three, potentially four if the opposing team is playing small ball. The toughest challenges for Team USA has to be the two teams that beat them in the FIBA World Cup, those being Germany and Canada. Mm. Germany led by Dennis Schroeder and the Wagner brothers and Canada's heavy dose of NBA players including SGA, Jamal Murray, Andrew Wiggins, Lou Dort, RJ Barrett, and Dylan Brooks. A couple of other teams may cause some challenges, for example France with the Twin Towers of Wimby. I don't think they're gonna make it far, bro. I mean, they do got the Twin Towers. They big as hell. But when I, I don't know if Wimby has what it takes right now to carry his team to the even the semifinals. I don't think he got what it takes. Is Giannis planning this? I want to see Giannis team if he's planning this. Of Rudy Gobert and Victor Wembanyama, or Serbia with the reigning NBA MVP Nikola. Oh, Joker plan. But looking at strictly rosters and more specifically roster strength. The other countries have significantly more to worry about than Team USA does. Stopping a team composed of a handful of NBA players, or maybe even a couple very good NBA players, is a lot easier than stopping an entire team filled with players from the top of the NBA. Mm. The Paris Olympics have provided an opportunity for the redemption of Team USA. Is it Isn't that cheating though? Team USA, like, literally... In the NBA is hosted in the in, in the United States. Isn't that cheating for a World Cup and United States to be in there? I, I'm just I I'm just trying to be fair, bro. But you got other NBA players that's branching off like Giannis, Joker, Shea, Luca to represent the United States. A chance to put the world on notice and a chance to prove someone wrong. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States. <laughs> But anyways, guys, what do you think about this year's Team USA? Is this That's the end of the video. I'm not going to lie. I, I really, like, 1 through 10, I have my number set at a 9.5 for this team to win it all. They they better come back, bro. Like, you got Ant going crazy already. He coming off the bench. You got Kawhi with him. Like, you got AD with him. You got D book with him. You got Drew with him. JT, you can you can switch in, in any any matchup. You can switch and they'll go and they'll go crazy. How y'all feel about it, man? I feel like this is probably top. I'm gonna put them behind the dream team, bro. And they and they fairly close in my eyes. I feel like they they can match up with them. I feel, I feel like this this team, LeBron did good if he really assembled this team. I don't, I don't think LeBron would actually do it if you know he's just gonna lose. Like, I feel like LeBron is smart enough to go out with a bang, and this is a good way for him to end his career. Well, besides the Lakers, but yeah, I, I have high hopes with this team, bro. For sure, for sure. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment what y'all want to see, man. I'm trying to actually build my fan base more. I'm, I'm, I'm back on the ground, bro. I, I keep saying this, but. Man, I'm getting more motivated to do this, and I'm here. I'm back. Let me know what y'all want to see, man. For real. We on to the next one.